Hi and welcome back. Today I'm featuring the designer's choice number 10. This is a die set by Tonic Studios. There are 19 dies in this set this month and uh, they help you create a little memory book. It comes in this plastic uh, pouch with a tab at the top that you can label as well as uh, um, holes on the other side so you can easily store it. Now there are 19 dies and you can use them to create your uh, memory book or as I'm going to show you today they are really versatile and you can use them as panels for cards or other projects. Now this side doesn't cut out which means that you can create the cover of your book or the pages as long as you want them. There is another decorative tie that you can use for the cover or the pages. Again, this side doesn't cut out anything, so you can make it as long as you like. Now, there are other dies included to decorate those main pieces, or you can use those if you like to create the actual pages and the cover. If you check the website by Tonic Studios, you will find lots and lots of ideas on how you can put this together. Now, of course, you get little corners that you can use to decorate, and these are, of course, versatile for other projects as well. And there is also a little uh, sentiment that you can use to decorate your little book. You get the actual words as well as the outline. The whole set is $19.99, and I think it's a great price for all the amount of uh, dies that you get. Their die sets um, are always a great value for money. And uh, here's another one that you can use at the end of your pages. This way you will have lots and lots of little uh, uh, holes so you can uh, thread through your string or your ribbon to put your book together. However, I'm going to show you another way on how you can use that on a card. For my card base, I'm using Ivory Cardstock by Tonic Studios and I'm going to create a four and a quarter by five and a half side folded card. So here I have one of the main dies that can create the cover of your memory book or the pages. Instead, I'm going to use it to create a decorative edge for my card. I'm going to secure it on the front panel. I'm going to use some washi tape. And of course, I'm going to open up the card since I don't want to cut out throughout the back of the card. Now I'm going to remove the die and remember that the straight line doesn't cut out anything. Now I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer, I'm going to trim the edges so I have a nice straight and clean line there. And here is my lovely card, it's a top folding card and this is the orientation that I'm going for. In the die set there are many different dies that uh, you can use to decorate the front panel. I'm going to go with this one that has a lovely decorative edge and that lovely stitching all around. The paper that I'm working with has a lovely embossed design on top and some shine on it. It comes from the Mint Blush uh, paper pad. This is a 6x6 paper pad and you will find it linked down below. But of course you can get this cardstock separately if you want to. This is slightly larger than I need to, so I'm going to make a mark there and I'm going to use my paper trimmer to cut it down. So when I place it on top, you will see that I get a lovely little border all around. Now I used other dies to die cut little pieces and uh, you can see I have three of them here. The first one I'm not going to use, however I'm going to show you just an idea that I had, but it didn't work out for me. I'm going to keep this part of the video so you see how uh, another way on how to use this uh, little uh, die with all those holes. Now I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue, I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base. Now I'm working with that little tab and I'm going to decorate it. Again for these two pieces I use the Salmon cardstock and the Ivory cardstock. I don't like to introduce many different uh, textures and colors since I want to keep my cards nice and elegant. So I'm folding this in half and this is going to create a little tab that it's going to keep my card closed. Now my card isn't bulky at all but uh, this is going to be just a decorative element. However, I think that a tab like this one would make a great way to keep together a gatefold card and I think that I'm going to use those two little dies a lot in the future. I am going to create a little slit later on on the front where you can tuck this flap inside but for now I'm going to show you what you can do with that strip of uh, holes. 
Now I'm using a needle and some uh, thread and I'm going to go up and down through those holes. If you have a very thin ribbon you can do that as well. This is going to create a lovely banner that you can stick on top of your uh, projects to decorate them. So here's another way on how you can use this die which is actually meant to create little holes on the edge of your pages to put the memory book together. However, this idea didn't work out for what I was planning to do since I want to have a long strip with my sentiment along the card and it would cover up most of that beautiful threading. So anyway, I decided to go with my seam binding and I'm just tying a bow here. The seam binding that I'm using has an ivory color and matches nicely with the card base. And now it's time to add the little slit where I can tuck inside the tab. For that, I'm just... a uh, uh, creating a couple of dots with my pencil, I'm going to use a metal ruler and my craft knife and I'm going to cut out all the way through in between those two pencil dots. I need to cut out through two layers of cardstock. I'm not adding any pressure, I'm just doing this movement again and again until I know that I touch the glass underneath. So here is how you can open and close the card, the basic construction is ready and all I need to do is to decorate my card a little bit more. I pushed the bow all the way to the top, added a little flower and some leaves, the sentiment is stamped with black ink and uh, stuck on top of the ribbon so when you open up your, your card you can still see the ribbon underneath and I really love that touch. I did add a few gems here and there and here is the back where you can see how the tap is attached. I had lots of years to use ribbons and um, bulky flowers on top of my card and I absolutely love that romantic look. This is a card that I'm going to hand out to someone since it's quite bulky due to the flower but you can uh, have a flatter version if you want to send it through the mail if you use a flat flower on top of the ribbon. So that was the project for today, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area, just like always. Thank you all for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all next time.